Okay, while we've got the motor out of the car, we are uh, going to do a little bit of clearancing on the uh, cross member, uh, the transmission cross member, the one that's in there from the factory. That also provides a uh, support for the uh, uh, the floor pan. We'll show you that in just a minute. But so we've we've uh, got to clearance it for uh, to put a three and a half inch exhaust in there. And so what we've done is uh, taken a piece of four inch pipe and cut kind of a half moon out of that to create a, a clearance piece. And then on the other side, we've got to clearance it to get fuel lines, uh, battery cables up to the starter, that kind of thing. So we're going to put a uh, a little two by two slug in there, um, and uh, and create a an alleyway to uh, route those pipes through. So we'll show you what that looks like in the car. Okay, here we are under the car, and uh, first thing you'll see is we we did get some sugar bolts and uh, got some really low profile uh, lock nuts, and got some bolts that fit so they just peek through the, uh, the end of the lock nut there. So they're they're about as low prof profile as you can get. So you can see there the cross member, and we've uh, drawn a, a line. Even though there's a, there's a couple of lines there, there's actually one that I'm going to be cutting on. So uh, and that'll that'll be where we'll weld in the uh, uh, the half moon shape here to create some clearance for the exhaust to come through. And uh, the idea is to to get the exhaust up above the frame rails, or at least minimize the amount that it's hanging down. And here's the other side over here. You can see it. Uh, covering up the light back in the corner and we're going to cut a, a square hole in that just so we can route some lines and, and hoses and stuff through so we'll get busy cutting those out and welding it in okay we've got our uh, notches cut out uh, here's the one with the exhaust to come through and uh, got to do a little bit of cleaning up we've got to you know just get it ready to weld and uh, here is the Here's the piece that's going to fit up in here. And again, I've got, to, I've got to trim this up just a little bit to get it fitting in there perfectly. You can see we've got a gap up there that we'll have to work on. But we'll get that welded in. And here is the one for the passenger side. And uh, we just cut a square hole and we've got a 2x2 two two square piece of pipe that we're going to stick in there and weld that. And it'll make a nice little passageway for. Uh, for our hoses and uh, fuel lines and stuff to pass through. All right, we'll go ahead and get it welded in now. Okay, there it is all welded up and the welds cleaned up, ground down a little bit. And, um, you know, it was galvanized and had a little bit of paint and stuff on the inside of it that I couldn't get out. So, uh, not the prettiest welds in the world, not the cleanest metal to weld on, but all in all, not too bad. And we need our square hole over there to run fuel lines and other stuff through. So, all right, there it is. Okay, there's a piece of uh, four inch stainless just mocked up into place just to kind of see how it fits and you can see everything's pretty snug so and um, you know I would say just a little bit of it hanging underneath the frame rail there so um, maybe an inch and a half or so of it but uh, it's pretty good as you can see 